Toronto Josh is back again. It's been a while since I've done a video, as always. I you know I always say that. Anyways, uh, I'm back to do September's Horror Block unboxing. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit late, but whatever. Better late than never. Um, the reason I've been gone, I've been busy, I've been traveling down in Orlando, Florida, and uh, I was hitting up Halloween Horror Nights, which is where I got this awesome, all jacked up t-shirt. Um, Jack the Clown returned this year to be the the icon for Halloween Horror Nights 25. Uh, in addition, got this awesome guy. He matches another one of my uh, pop vinyls, or not pop vinyls, rather. He matches one of my other vinyl figures, which is somewhere up there next to Dexter. Don't know if you can see it, but I got Jack the Clown as well from a couple years back. Um, really quickly, event was absolutely amazing. 25 years of Monsters and Mayhem was the house of the year. Stunning sets, super long. Very cool special effects in there. Uh, some really great mirror slash pepper ghost kind of effect uh, that basically made you look like you were all of a sudden on top of a castle. Um, really, really, really wild stuff. Uh, other standouts this year was Freddy vs. Jason. Insidious was awesome if you're a fan of the movies. As well as um, for one of their original IPs, the Body Collectors was stunning. Um, one of the gorier houses of the year, definitely. Awesome, awesome event. Uh, my least favorite maze of the year uh, was the Alice in the Asylum Alice one, the 3D maze. Did not like it at all. And as much as it pains me to say this as I'm a fan of the show, The Walking Dead house this year was horrible. Um, I, I, there's nothing more that can be said about that. So I know a lot of people hope that it goes away. There's been surveys. I don't think it's going to go away until it gets told, like, it's got to be a send-off. It's got to be billed as the last Walking Dead house, um, temporarily, kind of, forever thing. So, we'll see. But, without further ado, got this bad boy right here. Got this bad boy right here. And we're going to get to some cutting and some opening. Um, so, I don't know if you guys have had a chance to hit up any Horror Nights or any Halloween events in your area, but comment down below if you have. Uh, I have been working today to get my editing done for the uh, Hot at Canada's Wonderland. I was there on the weekend checking out all that we have to offer here, Canada's Wonderland for Halloween Hot. Uh, I got a video done, done during the day as well as at night. That will show up on the In The Loop page, which you can visit at youtube.com slash coaster crew. Uh, I know that's confusing, but sadly that's the way that it is. But there will be a link down in the description if you want to head over there to check out uh, my videos as well as several other videos covering Halloween events all across North America from Halloween Horror Nights on both coasts, uh, Knott's Berry, or sorry, not Scary Farm, Scarewinds, everything is there. Go on over, check out those videos, glad, uh, you'll, you'll be glad you did. So let's open this bad boy up. I can't remember how to do this. It's been a while. And as always, I'm going to try to do it where I am not looking into the box. I really, I've been out of it so much, I forgot what's in here. I don't remember anything they were advertising. So, that sound, that feels... Alright, let's do t-shirt. Because I don't have enough t-shirts. And this is a t-shirt for... Okay, now I know I'm going to get you all that again, as always. Um, is this Lord of the Flies? Is this Silence of the Lambs? Is this a combination of both? Is this something completely different? I admittedly don't know. I'm wanting to say Lord of the Flies, but I, I really don't know. Because that's not... I don't know. Comment down below. But it's a t-shirt. And it's kind of cool. So there's that. Move it on. Yeah, I really don't know what this is. Kind of reminds me of Silence of the Lambs, but I'm sure I'm going to be very much corrected in the below comments. I don't know what this is. Horror Face Coasters includes eight coasters with terrifying designs. Drinking coasters to scare friends. Um, so it's a box within a box. And then... Ew! Imagine putting your drink down on that. Like that's... Ew! This would be great for a Halloween party. Very, very cool. Um, I don't know what they all look like. You can see some of the designs on the back there. Contains eight face coasters with 16 terrifying designs. So I'm guessing that they're double-sided. And this is made by Paladone Face Map. 
Palad uh, Paladone Products Limited. V uh, visit them at paladone.com. Um, so, cool. Some drink coasters. They can go nicely with drinks that are scary, like a bloody Caesar. Imagine putting a bloody Caesar on a bloody face. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, so I'm not the funniest. Deal with it. And we got a DVD. And the DVD is, oh, that's cool. The original Night of the Living Dead. The black and white, very, very classic movie. Uh, it includes Chronicles of the Living Dead, a new exclusive documentary. Creators George A. Romero, Josh Russo, and Russ uh, Striner discuss the joy and heartbreak of birthing a classic. Uh, so that is Night of the Living Dead. DVD. Is it DVD? Is it Blu-ray? It feels like a DVD. Yeah, DVD video, and it's unrated. This is the original black and white version, so that's very cool. This is... Make your own movie quotes fridge magnets. From Night of the Living Dead as well. So I guess you can... They're coming to get you, Barbara. That's another one for the fire. The unburied dead are returning to life and seeking human victims. Boy, you'll be damned to hell. Hit him in the head, right between the eyes, etc., etc. Famous quotes from the movie. Mash them up, mix them up, throw them on your fridge, throw them wherever you can throw them. More magnets. I love magnets. So, yay. I wonder if I can make some offensive comments through this. I'll have to figure that out. All right, I feel a book. All right, let's go for this bad boy. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that is cool. Alright, so just like the Ghostbuster car, you can see the box there for it, the car somewhere in there. Um, Titans vinyl figures are back, and they are giving us what looks like, let me see if I get this right before I read it out. This is the alien, and what looks like Parker. Hopefully you guys can see that there. And they are a double pack of Titan vinyl figures which is super cool. That is the big chap, if I'm reading this correctly. They have all of these figures on the side. Actually, it seems, well, no. It seems like there should be three in here according to the box, but there's only two. See, like, if you look at the side of the box, it shows three. So that's, that's a little bit weird. Let me, I need to open this, because I'm kind of curious. This is a horror block exclusive, so maybe that's why it's different. Um, let's see. Maybe it's hiding and I just can't see it the way the box is. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Nope. It's just a two figures and a bloody claw. So that's really cool. So that is the Alien Pop Vinyl. I don't know how to do these boxes together. Uh, there we go. I mean, I'll just be taking these guys out of the box anyways, but that's very cool. Again, you can see it close up. Guys' brains are falling out. Very, very neat. Very cool. And lastly, we have the 125 years of the Ouija board, Rumork 18th anniversary Halloween edition. Woo! And that is a nice, thick... A uh, semi-hardcover book or magazine with a value of do, 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 $9.95 US and Canadian. And that is it. We got a couple things in here. Behold, a new block dedicated to sci-fi every month featuring brands such as Star Wars, Back to the Future, X-Files, etc., etc. There is the new sci-fi block advertising. And the... Oh, that wasn't a claw. That was the alien sticking out of the alien's mouth. So exclusive aliens two-pack figures. Uh, the, the vinyl figure set depicts the iconic Big Chap and Parker. One of them is having a bad day. Hint, it's a guy with his brain showing. Um, so the shirt, exclusive t-shirt of the month, Death, Death's Head Moth. It puts a t-shirt on its body or else it gets a hose again. That is indeed Silence of the Lambs. So that's what I thought. Uh, Night of the Living Dead, Remorgue Magazine, The Face Coasters, and The Magnets. So that is it 
The t-shirt is cool um, if you are a fan of Silence of the Lambs, which you should be. And these are wicked to add to my collection. I also got when I was down there, you can't really see them, but I got the Wellwalker Zombie Pot Vinyl, and I got Sam from Trick or Treat the Pot Vinyl. I think that was it that I can remember. So yeah, so very, very cool set. Uh, stay tuned for my page. Next block will be Halloween edition. Last year, uh, pretty much gave you a whole Halloween costume with the Iron Maiden mask and everything like that. So that should be really cool to check out. And like, subscribe, share my videos and page and everything like that. And stick around as we'll have more content as always. Till next time, stay scary.